Jason here, Blood Church, coming to you today. God bless each and every one of you. Going to do a video today. I hope you find it to be um, a blessing. We are in an interesting set of times, my friends. I'm going to talk out loud. I'm going to talk out loud about information that I've heard. And it is uh, not meant to scare you. Um, it is meant to just to make you aware. So, New York City, not long ago, had an emergency response for nuclear weapon threats, and it, and it tells to tell its people what to do. Of course, we know Russia and Ukraine and everything going on in the Middle East. So, if these things, these these times are not coming back to normal. So, if this scares you, now's the time to get eternal security by the blood of Jesus Christ. One sin can send you to hell. Past, present, future sins all can be washed away by the blood of Jesus Christ. He paid the ultimate atoning price when he died on a cross. 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4 tells you where he died, he buried, and he rose from the dead. It's a free gift. You can't earn yourself a spot into heaven. You can't work hard enough. You can't go to a certain church. You can't ask for a man to forgive you. Romans 10, 9 and 10 tells you how to do that. Believe with your heart, confess with your mouth to salvation. In all your sins, by the blood of Jesus Christ, God, Jesus was the Messiah, the Son of God. He walked a perfect life and he, and he died for you for the remission and forgiveness of your sins. Once you accept that, the, the very second you are saved, you're a new creature, you're born again by the blood of Jesus Christ, and you receive a gift called the Holy Spirit. All right, so we know that the world is preparing for World War III, and I believe it's going to come in the tribulation. It's already started. The Pope announced it. So we know it's the world considers this World War III. And Biden has done some some things with our oil su supplies. Our reserves have been sold to China. You can see articles on that. And if we get, ter if we get um, the Middle East to stop supplying us oil, we're going to have the situation of not being able to transport anything in the country diesel diesel fuel won't be available and i think that's what what they're going to set up now i don't know when that's going to happen it could happen this summer it could happen later um so maybe get some extra fuel you know certainly don't don't go crazy if you're saved hopefully we're going to be raptured out of here uh and not deal with this for too long or maybe it'll be delayed you know, sometimes they, they say these threats and these things will happen and then it takes a while longer. So I'm not, again, this is not to try to scare you. I don't know. I'm not saying we're going to have a fuel crisis, but there's a possibility. The Florida Guidestones were taken down for a reason. They didn't investigate what happened to them and they yanked them out. To me, that's evidence of the global genocide to come in the tribulation. And they wanted that removed. It's gone. We know that the jib jab, the snake bite, is going to be a big factor in the next two to three years. I think it'll be a part of the um, the judgments, the wrath that come of the um, pestilences and the and uh, the pale horse and tribulation. And I think we see that all being set up. We also see, you know, things being set up like China versus the U.S. Russia versus Israel. And we see the strengthening of the Iran deal. And Iran wants to destroy Israel. So we see these things gathering. And I know Israel will strike Damascus at some point. I also think that the... I'm going to call them the red, the red axis. Because they're mostly red nations. China, Russia, um, and the others. Have paired up with Venezuela to do war games and they're going to run those in the middle of August and those war games are going to be a trial run for the attack on America now I believe that attack will come in the tribulation and it'll be nuclear warheads from submarines fired to probably take out 300 million plus US citizens accompanied with uh, they'll let the you know they'll let the dust settle accompanied with the uh, invasion after they realize people will come out from their, their bunkers, their holes, their hiding spots, uh, people that have military training, people that know what they're doing, will, will band together and will do well, 
and then the resources will be scarce so they'll fight for those and they'll kill one another and then when they're weak enough they'll come in and when the radiation is low enough they'll come in and that their plan is to take over of course i don't think that's gonna gonna happen or if it does it's not going to be very long because i believe the third of the earth is the western hemisphere because when it talks about the third of the earth going to be killed and it talks about the grass is burning or nuclear holocaust would do that and i don't believe that the promised land where israel is or the area of the middle east is going to be a part of that and if you look at the map a third of the earth is you know north and south america and I think that, that that'll be what happens. That area will be completely destroyed. And again, this is tribulation timeline, in my opinion. But we see it revving up. We see China preparing to go to war with the U.S. We see it. They're readying their forces for it. That's the middle of August when they're doing that, uh, what they call war games. Uh, a dress rehearsal, if you want to call it that. So all these things are speeding up. We see you know, earthquakes in Japan, and we see... Again, lockdown in Wuhan again over a few um, cases. And all these things are just coming faster and faster, coming to a head. So I pray for each and every one of you. You know, hopefully the rapture soon. I don't know if this is it's this year or next. I think it's one of the two uh, with the way we're going here. I guess it could tarry a little longer. Uh, God's in control. I put my trust and faith in him. And, you know, we will be redeemed at the proper time. We were purchased with the per perfect um, bridal price, if you want to call that. He died on a cross, laid down glory, shed his blood for the remission and the forgiveness of, of all your all of our sins, took on the wrath of God, amen. And only, only our wonderful, awesome God, you know, has the ability to do that. And so don't worry, church, you know, we're going home. And if you're not saved, you're hearing this message, this is for you. All these calamities I'm talking about are going to come soon. And we are not returning to normal. So now is the time to put away your pride. Admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior. And point towards Jesus Christ. He, God, everyone always asks, what, what has God done in this horrible world? He died for you. He gave you a way out of it. Accept it by the blood of Jesus Christ. God bless. Have a great day.